then some special graphs which are used in presentation of data in statistics all simple graphs bar diagram histogram pie chart frequency polygon frequency curve scatter plot line diagram you already know them and these are the graphs which we can draw on the graph paper but apart from that there are some special graphs which are created by the software not possible to draw manually but to make your data presentation and data summary attractive these graphs are produced by the softwares so nobody will ask you to draw these graphs but they will show you the image and they will ask you to identify that image so this image is showing ogiv which is cumulative frequency diagram so in one of the exam i have come across this question cumulative frequency diagram is also known as and they have given four different options it is ogiv cumulative frequency you already have idea in basic statistics so in this diagram on x axis you can see age on y axis they have shown the number so 10 years of age it starts with almost 5 children 11 years of age almost 15 children so that includes 5 children of 10 years plus 6 children of 11 years so that is known as cumulative frequency so when you come at the age of 16 years you can say 100 children that doesn't mean all 100 are of age of all 100 children are having age of 16 years it is up to 16 years we have 100 children so that is known as cumulative frequency diagram or ogiv it is used for identification of quartiles first second and third quartile concept of quartile is already taken in detail so ogiv used for cumulative frequency diagram so if this is shown in the exam you should be able to identify this is venn diagram v e w n venn diagram where some factors are related to individual circle and some factors are common so overlapping of circle indicates those common factors such a diagram is known as venn diagram now here i have shown you epidemiological triad that is agent host and environmental factors so in the center you can see where all three side circles are intersecting that shows the occurrence of disease so just presence of agent host or environment is not sufficient agent and host agent and environment environment and host is also not sufficient but in this center when all three occur together and interact with each other that leads to the disease so overall that is the concept of venn diagram so common factors even you want to show venn diagram is the graph of choice this graph is known as box and whiskers plot in this graph in the center you can see the box and at the two end of the box one t shape and one inverted t shape whiskers are shown and so this presentation is known as box and whiskers plot in the center of box the line which is shown it represents median and so when question is asked line in the center of box you should answer median median refers to second quartile that you all know in this diagram lower end of the box represents first quartile upper end of the box represents third quartile lower end of the whisker represent minimum value upper end of the whisker represents maximum value distance between two whiskers represents range and distance between two ends of the box that is q1 and q3 represents interquartile range all these questions are expected on box and whisker plot now in this box and whisker plot also you can understand about the symmetry of distribution that is whether data is normally distributed or skewed data if you see the distribution like first box and whisker plot in this diagram of year 9 where line is in the center of the box 50% portion of the box is above 50% portion is below that depicts that data is normally distributed and shifting of this line above or below will give rise to negative skewness or positive skewness in the distribution or right skewed and left skewed distribution so they even can ask you about box and whisker plot and symmetry of distribution so understand that also this image is showing stem and leaf plot one of the exam they have given this picture and they have asked to identify what this graph is known as now as i said all these graphs are not produced by drawing it is you just have to fit the data in software 
and you have to give order and software will produce this diagram. So don't try to learn how to draw this diagram. You should just be able to interpret them and identify them. Like in this diagram it is showing stem and leaf plot. You can see the vertical axis. It is known as stem. And you can see the horizontal axis where 7, 6, 6, 4, 3, 3, 2 are written. These are the leaves. So this is known as stem and leaf plot. Now here stem that is 9, 8, 7, 6 and 5. It represents multiple of 5. So basically in this stem and leaf plot they have shown scores in the science test out of 100 where vertical axis is multiple of 10 so that 9 refers to 90 8 refers to 80 7 refers to 70 so that is your stem each leaf next to that stem represents the next digit so if you see next to 9 7 is written that refers to the student who has got 97 marks out of 100. Second student, 6 is written. That refers to student has got 96 marks in that exam. So like that, this stem and leaf plot is interpreted. So here if you count the number of leaves, that is starting from 7, if you move horizontally up to 2, then go below, start from 9, move up to 0. If you count them, 25 students or 25 leaves are there. So sample size in this class is 25. This question can come. Identification of stem and leaf plot already they have asked. So next time they might ask you interpretation. So this is how stem and leaf plot is interpreted. So in this stem and leaf plot, 25 students come marks is shown. Highest marks in this, you can easily identify 97. Lowest marks, 56. Accordingly, grading is done. So they have given grading scale also. So sometimes in the exam they will ask you, in this stem and leaf plot, how many have got grade A? So you can just see the first line, 97, 96, 96, 94, 93, 93 and 92. So I will say 7 students have got A grade. So like this, further questions are expected in future exam about stem and leaf plot. To interpret this, whatever things are required will be available in the frame except the name stem and leaf plot. This is a showing forest plot.